Hello, everybody. Welcome to another edition of our NEC Women's Basketball Google Hangout. This Google Hangout is brought to you by GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Visit GEICO.com. And today's guest is joining me from New Britain, Connecticut. It's Central Connecticut senior forward, Amanda Harrington. Amanda, welcome to the Hangout. Thank you for joining us today. I'm going to start off by saying that Central Connecticut is 7-1 in Northeast Conference play, off to the best start in the program's history since the Blue Devils joined the NEC in 1998. What are the key reasons for this team's success right now? I mean, what's going on up there? How are you guys getting it done? Um, well, it's not like we have one threat on the court. We've got everybody's a threat. We're pretty solid through the bench and having everybody who can participate on any given day is uh, definitely a, a big plus for us during this season. Well, you touch on something interesting right off the bat. Um, I had it down here in my notes. Central Connecticut only has one player averaging in double figures and scoring. Um, and it's only at 10.3 points per game. So it seems like everyone really is contributing. Um, it truly is uh, scoring by committee up there. Yeah, um, as long as we're like working together, uh, anybody can have a, a good day, anybody can have an off day, and it's, uh, it's, it's, and it's a nice thing to have everybody working together and everybody being a threat. Well, what do you see your role personally um, on the court? Um, personally, it's um, uh, rebounding and defense. If I can help my teammates and uh, do good on defense, then we can transition into offense and do well there. Now, you mentioned that that's your individual role is rebounding and defense, but from what I've seen of the Blue Devils so far, it seems like the whole team is all about rebounding and defense. Um, I don't know if you're aware, but I believe in six of the eight NEC games, you held your opponent under 60 points. Um, you're beating people on the boards. Is that really kind of the team motto, the team's style? Is that what Coach Piper preaches, defense and rebounding? Um, yeah, pretty much. It's uh, as long as we have good help defense, good rotations, and then we're able to box out and rebound, and then the uh, offense will come from that. Well, talk. Talk a little bit about some of your teammates, if you if you will, because obviously um, you guys are playing what is the epitome of team basketball. Um, talk about some of the other players on the court uh, with you and, and what they've meant to the team's success. And really, um, what about this team chemistry this year as well? Um, well, the chemistry is actually really close. Like we're a pretty tight knit team this year, um, and everyone has their own things. Uh, TJ's been uh, battling hard in the post. I mean, she has a small forward, but she she busts her uh, busts her butt to get in there and get the boards and to do what she can. Um, we've had several different girls take charges. Camden's taken quite a few charges, which really helps our team momentum. Um, Kaylee and Lola are both very loud on defense when it comes to talking, and it helps you know where to go, what to do, who needs help, where shooters are, and there's just overall a lot of communication between all of us. Now, in the non-conference season, you picked up a couple of nice wins early, uh, but you struggled a little bit down the stretch in December. But since the new year, you guys have been on fire. Um, is there anything that you and your teammates are doing differently now uh, these past eight games where you're seven and one as opposed to what was happening in uh, the second half of December? Um, well, actually over winter break we had a good stretch of just straight practices and we really focused on defense and rebounding and I think having that big stretch of practices has helped and just um, recently we've been just sticking to the game plan, um, digging in on defense and always putting in our best for that and then doing whatever we're told for offense, and that's really been what's helping us. Now, obviously, it's it's a long way 
Uh, still more than half of the regular season schedule remaining. But the truth of the matter is uh, the Blue Devils weren't picked very highly uh, in, the, in the preseason. Uh, maybe not too many outside expectations for the team. Um, but now you're 7-1. and one. Obviously a long way to go, but does this, is this team starting to get some confidence behind it? And do you feel that you're an NEC championship contender right now? Um, we're definitely getting confidence, and I thought from the beginning that we were an NEC contender. I knew we had a lot of talent, a lot of good um, good players on this team, and um, so far confidence has definitely shown that for us. Absolutely. Now I want to step away from the basketball court for a second because I learned some interesting things about you. Um, first of all, what's this deal about you – spending uh, your summer clearing out land and carrying logs and uh, doing some Paul Bunyan type stuff uh, up there, I guess in Massachusetts, is it? Yep. Um, we got uh, about 10 acres of land um, recently and uh, there was a lot of uh, overgrowth, a lot of like garbage to clean up that was left from the previous owners. So uh, all summer I've, I've been helping my dad drop trees, limb trees, clean up the brush. Um, Carry, carry things from one end of the land to the next to like uh, get them all stacked up and everything. It's it's been a lot of fun. Um, you've grown up in the outdoors, I guess. Is this something that that you enjoy being out in nature? And is this something you were always exposed to, or did your family just move uh, out to this area? Um, it's something I've always been exposed to. Um, I pretty much lived outside growing up. Um, we, um, my dad taught me how to mow the lawn, split logs at a, at a young age, so um, getting this land was like a, a big exciting thing for me because I'm like, I get to clear all this new land, I get to help move all this uh, shrubbery and everything around, and it was, it's exciting for me. I like being outside and I like doing that kind of work. Well, that's definitely one way to stay in shape, um, without a doubt. Now, you're, you're pretty versatile here. Uh, you're outdoors, you're, you're, you're getting double-doubles on the basketball court, um, but you're also a makeup artist. Uh, you do makeup for uh, actors, actresses, uh, movie-type makeup. Is this, is this something that you want to um, uh, pursue a career in? Uh, do you, is this how you, you want to make a living? Um, well, it started with a, a class here on campus. It's just like movie makeup kind of stuff for the theater department. And then I ended up doing it with my teammates for Halloween or like when they wanted to just do crazy things. Um, one, of, one of my teammates had like different things for presentations in class that I had to do her makeup for. Um, I would definitely love to do this because I love um, uh, sci-fi makeup. I love movie makeup. Um, I watch Face Off a lot and I would love to get into that if I could. <laughs> Do you like sci-fi movies and or or just the makeup? Um, both. The makeup's like really interesting to me to see how they execute different like uh, prosthetic pieces on faces, how they make even like simple changes to make them look different. But sci-fi movies are have always been cool too. <laughs> now, there's one other thing I hear you like riding four wheelers as well. So. Add another thing to the uh, to the resume here. Yeah, um, since we well even before we had the land, I had a uh, my uncle had four wheelers. We used to go up to his place, and at a young age, I learned how to fly around on a four wheel drive uh, four wheeler. And then we ended up inheriting those, and now me and my brother fly, fly around the ten acres of land that we have on these four wheelers we got. So whether it's riding four wheelers or doing makeup, playing basketball, splitting logs. Um, what do you personally enjoy the most? And, or does it just depend what mood you're in? Or do you get equal enjoyment from all these activities? Um, I get equal enjoyment from all the activities. Um, there's Because like some of it's with my family, some of it's with the girls here who I'm close with, and it's just like being around people and having fun with them. is. It's, I love it. <laughs> You know, taking it back to basketball for a second, you mentioned how close you are with the girls on your team. Um, 
is this chemistry really uh, something special this year? Is this something different than you felt in, in years past? And, or was it there in years past and it's just grown into something awesome this year? Um, years past, we've had, like, spots here and there about where we'd, like, bicker, like, like sisters would. But this year, it's like, um, we're all, we're all very close. Like, um, I've been with Kaylee all four years, and we've always been best friends. And now with the new freshmen, they've really merged right in this year. Um, it's not, like, awkward or, like, there's different stages. They kind of just jumped in and were part of the family right away. So it's, it's, it's really special this year. And... Do you hang out with them outside of practice, outside of the road trips? Um, you know, do you do things that friends would do together rather than just teammates? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, just the other day with the snow we had, I, uh, one of the freshmen and I, um, Emma and I, went out sledding by <laughs> on one of the hills we had here. <laughs> Don't tell Coach Piper. She doesn't need her uh, star <laughs> forward going down with some sledding injury here, Amanda. <laughs> But, um, no, I, I want to thank you so much for joining us today. Obviously, you and the Blue Devils off to a phenomenal start in conference play. And 7-1, um, and one, eight games into the schedule, ten games to go. Um, and I just want to say, uh, open up the floor to you, actually. Any last words? Any, any shout-outs here for anybody? Um, I'd like to shout out to my, uh, my family back home. Um, we're between houses right now, and I know they're going crazy with all the basketball and different volleyball uh, games they have to go to. I just want to say I'm still thinking about you, and I know you guys are busy. Do they still keep track? Do they watch NEC Front Row? Do they, are they able to make it to Dietrich once in a while? Yeah, they're able to make it once in a while. Um, they've been crazy with their schedules and stuff. I know my brother with his senior year has been been hectic. My dad's coaching. My sister's coaching and playing. So they, they make it when they can. But um, I know that I know they watch or keep up with stats when uh, when they can't be here. So a busy family and a busy young woman, Amanda Harrington. She splits logs. She does makeup. She gets double doubles. She rides four wheelers. I mean, what doesn't she do? Amanda, thank you so much for joining us today. It's been a pleasure. For Amanda Harrington, I'm Ralph Ventry at NEC headquarters. Until next time, this was your NEC Women's Basketball Google Hangout presented by GEICO.